Hey everyone, my name is Pamela Fox. I work on developer relations for the Google Wave APIs. And in this screencast, I want to show some of the ways that you can use Google Wave at Google I.O. So your main point of entry into the I.O. waves is this main wave, which is basically a table of contents that links to all the individual waves for the sessions. Now for each session, there's both an info wave and a live wave. The info wave has basically the information from the website, the, the title, the abstract, the speakers, etc. The live wave is an interactive wave with gadgets and with the ability to have discussions. So we can look through the main wave and see uh, each day with the tracks inside of it to find the session that we're interested in. And I'll go ahead and go to this session here, start on the info wave. And here we can see the information. I'm going to join in on the interactive wave. So in this wave, we have an attendees gadget. And I can indicate that I'm attending the event there so other people can see I'm coming. We also have a Google moderator gadget where you can ask questions and vote on questions. I can say, well, that, that does sound like a nice question. I'll vote on it. And then at the bottom, we can have discussions. So. We can talk with the other attendees and also talk with the actual Googlers that will be speaking at the event. And now if you're interested in following updates to this wave, anytime somebody else comments on it or adds a new question, you can click follow. And anytime the wave is updated, you'll actually see it in your wave inbox. So you'll know instantly that something is going on in the waves that you care about. So that's basically the experience for using these waves inside the Google Wave client. And, but you can also use them from the Google I.O. website. So this is a website that lists all the web pages for each session. So you can go and find the web page you care about, like this first one, Beginner's Guide to Android. And you can see there's a big blue button to view the wave. So if we click on that, it will actually open up the wave embedded inside a light box. And it's basically the same kind of thing as before. We can have discussions, we can vote on questions, indicate we're attending, all that sort of stuff. And uh, yeah, so if you have any more questions about using Wave at I.O., check out our guide with uh, screenshots, links, and everything you need. And I hope you enjoy waving at I.O. See you then.